Um, so the area of each of those uh, rectangles is what? Well, what's the area of this rectangle? This one. 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 Yeah, it's one by one. Well, the base of each of those rectangles is one, right? The height of each of these rectangles is, well, one over one squared, one over two squared, one over uh, three squared, and so on, right? So the area of each rectangle is the value of the corresponding term in the series. Does that make sense? Okay. Well, so how does this uh, picture help me? Well, I will try to show that uh, the sequence of partial sums is uh, bounded above. Well, I've already mentioned, so if we have a series with uh, positive terms, let me maybe write this on a side here. So F A M is a series. With positive terms, with positive terms, meaning each a m is positive. Then, as n is an increasing sequence. How very easy to prove. Let me write the proof. That, right? So the proof will be one. Well, uh, what does it mean Sn is an increasing sequence? It means uh, Sn plus 1 is greater than Sn for every, for every uh, n. Right? But what is Sn plus 1? How do we get Sn plus 1 from Sn? <coughs> How do we get Sn plus 1? n plus first partial sum from the n partial sum. How do we do that? Easy question. What do we need to add to Sn to get Sn plus 1? All right, let, let, let me wait for you to, to figure it out because need to be comfortable with those things and th this is not this is not a difficult question at all what is sn sn is the sum of what the first n terms of the series right what is sn plus 1 the sum of the first n plus 1 uh, terms of the series right so what do you need to add to Sn to get Sn plus 1? What's the difference between the two? Is it R? Is it what? R. What is R? There is no R. Is it just plus 1? No. The next term. Yeah, sure, the next term. Well, I, I said everything, right? So Sn is the, uh, the sum of the first n terms. Sn plus 1, the sum of the first n plus 1 terms. What's the difference? This n plus first term, right? So to get Sn plus 1 from uh, Sn, you need to add a n plus 1, right? <coughs> Does that make sense to everybody? No, th these are the things you do, you do need to understand. Okay, so th th this is very, very basic. Okay, all right. So, but uh, 
a n plus third this term is, is, is not even a major, it's positive, right? It's positive. So to get s n plus one, we are adding a positive term to s n, right? So we're making we're making uh, this bigger, right? So s n plus one then will be larger than s n, and that's the whole proof, right? So s n is an increasing series. Uh, we're going to use this fact a lot. Well, we're going to use it right now. So since uh, well, this is obviously a series with positive terms, right? Every term is positive. So um, Remember, the sum of the series is the limit of uh, the par uh, partial sums, right? Now, we know that, because it's a series with positive terms, that the partial sums uh, increase, right? That uh, the sequence of partial sums is increasing. Remember the monotonic uh, sequence theorem? If we can show that uh, this sequence is bounded above, that the theorem will tell us that it's conversion, that the limit of partial sums exists, and therefore, the series is conversion. The logic of this, uh, is, is it clear? Okay. All right. Um, so, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to show that uh, Sn is bound. Okay, so now, now let's write down what Sn is, and then we're going to use this thing. 